Hey, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we got the Yeti Roadie 24 here. Uh, we're going to see what fits in this, what doesn't fit in this, and we're going to discuss how I like it a little bit and uh, how long I've had it and everything else. So right here, I'm going to drop in a, a little picture of the specs on it, and we'll go from there. This is the lip grip handles. They boast that it's one hand operation. Pretty easy. Pretty easy in my book. You open it up, you got your seal, nice thick rubber seal to keep everything uh, cold in here, right? It seals up against this area right here. Uh, your warning label, please don't let your kids climb in this. Small pets, anything like that, especially if you got water in there. Your Yeti imprint. Yeti, there's Yeti badging everywhere on Yeti stuff. Everybody already knows all that. Uh, it's pretty deep. There's the, there's my arm. There's how far it goes into it. Uh, let's go ahead and cram some of this stuff in there and see what happens. All right, what we have here is the uh, four pound Yeti ice. I just took it out of my freezer. Stays cold longer, breaks never, right? So, one of these in the bottom, see how that fits. There you go, that's like a perfect fit in the bottom of this. Okay, let's see if we can stand a wine bottle up because this is toted to be able to hold wine bottles standing up. All right, so first issue wine bottles will not stand up on top of the ice pack. So what we're going to do is flip the ice pack on the side and then try the wine bottles. See that the three wine bottles fit in there with plenty of room left over in there. Let's try to fit some of these in there. See how many of these we can fit in there. Three wine bottles. Take this four pounder out there. Okay, that's all 12 new beers. It looks like now I got two wine bottles and 12 root beers in there. See, that's a pretty good party. Say you want to bring a 12 pack of beer and a couple of bottles of wine to your party. Now, this is your dry foods container. This is supposed to sit in there, but you see the problem, right? Let's see if we can find a solution to this. All right, so with the two ice packs in there, two four pound ice packs in there, you will not fit this dry dry storage container. Now I could take out this other ice pack rearrange a few things and we could get all that in there. Now hypothetically we'd be dumping some ice around and underneath all this and around all this way. So what I do personally now is I would not carry a lot of refrigerated stuff in here. I would use this primarily for bread, cold cuts, anything that I need to stick in here that for utensils that are dry, I put condiments in here and everything else. And I have a Tundra hall that I would use for my actual cooler for my beverages. All right, guys, after I emptied all this out, this is what we got in there, the two ice packs. We did not get this in there comfortably. Uh, if we took away one of the ice packs. I'm sure there's different ways you could rearrange this. I do not use this primarily for drinks, unless I'm going on a super short like day trip or something. But if we're taking the kids somewhere, or the wife and I are going somewhere for a couple of nights, I would use this as kind of my, um, I wouldn't say dry storage. I would keep like condiments and stuff like that in here. And then I would take my other bigger cooler, my Yeti Hall, along with the wheels. I have a video, I'll link that up in the cards up there. Um, check that out, please. 
and I would take that one and put all my drinks in that. That's the one I use for parties at the house. That's the one I use by the pool. Uh, that's going to be my one that I primarily put most of my drinks in. Now, you want to go on a daytime picnic trip. This would be great for like a little small meal for two to four people. Maybe a bottle of wine, a couple of drinks, some juice boxes, two bottles of water. Um, I would maybe try to throw that in there. And some of the ladies might think it's gross, but guys will get it. I would throw that in there and I would maybe put some bait in there if we were going to go to a pond for a picnic or fishing. Uh, which brings me to my next point. This would be perfect for fishing. Um, you could keep your bait up top. You could keep your beverages down there, whatever you're having while you're fishing. And uh, we would close this up right here and use this as a seat. So now that we're on the outside and we're using this as a seat, let's go ahead and look over the rest of this. All right. Here's your feet. You can tell I use myself. Yeti symbol. Yeti symbol. Yeti, Yeti, Yeti. I mean, it's got it everywhere. Obviously, it's a Yeti, guys. Uh, you got your never fail hinges on here. Nice little handle. Real durable nylon strap. These go here, back and forth like this. Super easy. One on the other side here, too. Super easy. This right here is where you can do tie-downs, right? It's got like a little spot for these uh, tie-downs to hook in. I do not have those, uh, but you can hook those in and lock this into like the back of a truck or however you want. This, I'll drop a picture in as well. It will fit behind the back seat in a car. This one fits in the trunk of my car super easy. Um, I don't have any problems with mobility on this thing. The only thing that you may have somewhat of an issue with is it's light now, but once you start packing stuff in there, it's pretty heavy. So let's go ahead and get out a tape measure and see what we're working with here, right? So height, you're about 17 and a half inches. Width, I'd put it 17. Thickness to the thickness, thickest spot, I feel a 14. It fits wine bottles, so it's got to be pretty deep. I'd go 13 and a quarter on the depth. And then your basket obviously fits here perfect. You're looking at four inches by nine and a quarter by about five and a half. Your inside opening here is nine and a half by 12 and three quarters. There you have it. Feel free to watch that part as many times as you need to for all the dimensions on this. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty mobile friendly. Uh, you can get this thing around a lot easier than a lot of haul coolers and stuff like that. That's why I would kind of recommend this right here uh, for small. You could probably push it maybe to a two-day trip, but I recommend this for small trips. Probably no longer than a day for me. Uh, definitely take it fishing on a pontoon boat, or any kind of boat really. You can sit on the uh, shore and sit on this as a stool, so you ain't got to be sitting. Or on the flip side, carrying a lawn chair with you or anything like that. So this will double as quite a bit of stuff here. So if you got a Yeti cooler, I want to know what you got and why you got that one. Throw it in the comments down below. I did just start a members area on my channel. Uh, feel free to check that out, join, that really helps me out. I'm going to link to the products here for the Yeti Ice and this cooler down below. Um, check it out, if nothing else, if you're not purchasing, at least to get more information. I tried to make this video as quick as possible. Um, hey, thanks for sticking around to the end, thanks for the views, give me a thumb up, subscribe, you know all the YouTube jargon that you got to do doing for you. Um, and we will definitely see you in the next one. Alright guys, take care.